What's up everyone? I just ordered this Seagate two terabyte Barracuda hard drive from Amazon. I ordered it like last night at like 10 p.m. It came to my doorstep this morning at 7 a.m. We live in a crazy world, but I need more space or storage on my PC. So I ordered this. I only have 512 gigabytes right now on this current NZXT starter PC. It's not enough. I have three games right now. It's at like 350 gigabytes. So I wanted more space. So here we go. I'm gonna show you guys how to install this. Step one, if you don't have the cables that you need, you're gonna have to order them. So I'm gonna put a link in my description for a little cable pack you can get. It's gonna have uh, SATA data, ca data cables and then a uh, SATA power cord as well. So my PC, uh, NZXT actually hooked me up with all the cables I need so I don't have to order anything external. But my PC came with um, two different SATA cables. It came with one at a right angle and then just a normal one. So I'm actually gonna use the right angled one uh, just because this one, it's gonna get kind of messy uh, just the way that my PC is set up on the inside. And I need that little curve right there. So the right angle one is actually perfect for this. All right, so if you don't have the cables, wait until the end of the video, go to my description, and I'm gonna have a link in there for the cable um, box that you can get. It's gonna have a bunch of different cables in there that everything you're gonna need pretty much. Okay, so step three, you're gonna actually remove this back panel area as well as the front panel. So there's two screws here on my NZXT starter PC. This is the H510 case. Um, all PCs are gonna be different pretty much. Uh, most of the PCs are gonna have the same exact hard drive location somewhere at the bottom here. But for this specific PC, uh, there's two screws right here. So just loosen both these screws up. So we'll loosen these up. There's actually three little uh, kind of latches along this side. So once I have this unscrewed, I'm just gonna kind of pop this out a little bit. Screw this one a little bit more. So pop this out a little bit and it kind of just comes right out. Okay, so back panel is off. Here's the back side of the PC right here. Um, and this is actually the hard drive bay right here. So most PCs, like I said, are gonna have the hard drive bay somewhere in the bottom here. Um, this one's located here. It's actually already in there uh, firmly. It's screwed into the actual case itself. Some PCs aren't screwed in the case itself. So this one's screwed in. And now we'll take off the front panel. So the front panel is actual glass. Let's be very careful with this. Um, I also don't want to get fingerprints all over it. So, all right, so I got this screw right here for the front panel. It's undone. So it's just one screw at the top for my specific NZXT starter PC case. You might have more than one screw. So be very careful, this is glass. Take it out and yeet. Ah, just kidding. Be very careful with this. I'm gonna put it on the couch. So that's on the couch. Your front panel is off, man, it's dusty in here. I'm gonna have to clean this out um, after the video, but. Okay, so now you have access to your motherboard. All right, so let's go to the next step. So the next step is you're gonna wanna plug in your SATA cable, which is gonna be one of these, into your motherboard. All right, so like I said before, I'm gonna use this right angle one. It's gonna be perfect. My SATA port is right here, so I have two here. And I have two SATA ports up top up here as well. Um, I'm gonna use the bottom one. It's just gonna be better for uh, just the way my PC is set up. So it's kind of a tight squeeze on this one. So you're gonna wanna kind of finagle it in there. Um, it's gonna be angry. Okay, so I lied. I really wasn't happy with the SATA cable port right here because this, the way it looked with that wire coming over, it really didn't look good to me. Um, <laughs> typically I wouldn't care about something like that, but for aesthetics and for the video, I just want to show you. I have two more SATA ports up here. All right, these these two uh, ports right here are SATA ports. So I'm going to run it up the back side too. You know, and, and these PCs have so many openings for you to do this. So you can really configure it exactly how you want. So I'm just going to actually use one of these ports instead. Okay, so I have my cable now plugged into this SATA port instead. Like I said, you have different options depending on your PC. You probably have a few. And if I spin it around, here's the wire now. Instead of coming down, it's actually just coming off the side here. And there's a bunch of different Velcro too that I can actually um, kind of make this look cleaner with. So I just kind of go like this. And then go like this. So that actually makes me a little happier than, than what it just looked like. Okay. Instead of it coming down and folding through the side, you're barely gonna be able to see it now once I have the panel back on. 
Um, there it is right there. All right. And here's my SATA cable again. And actually NZXT was great here because they thought ahead and look at all these power cords I have. So NZXT just has all these power cords bundled ready to go in case you wanted to add an extra SSD or an excess hard drive. All right. So this is actually perfect because this is what exactly what I need um, for the SATA power cord. All right. So I don't have to order one myself. Thank you NZXT for doing this for us. I appreciate it. Okay. So I have my SATA data cable here ready to go. I have my SATA power cords already ready to go. Thank you, NZXT, again for setting that up for me. And now what I'm going to do is just plug them both in. So this is what the hard drive looks like. Um, you have kind of your ports here, so your power port and then your SATA uh, data cable right here port. So we're going to plug both these in. So we'll do the SATA first. Okay, so SAT is in, and let's do the power cable as well, which I believe is this one. Okay, so those are both in, they're clicked. Um, as you can see here, the SATA data cable is gonna have that little metal uh, clasp on top, so that clicks right in. This kind of clicks in, you can just pull that right out if you want, and then it's gonna slide right into your hard drive bay. So this is your hard drive bay. It should be mounted into your PC. If it's not, you might wanna mount it um, I mean, I don't move my PC around too much, but let's just slide that right in there. So there should be like a little kind of a level for it. Okay. And that's perfect. So we can kind of just move the cables around exactly how you want. I brought some zip ties that I could add on later if I want to add zip ties just to make it seem more aesthetic. But I mean, that's pretty much it. So my hard drive is now plugged in. I have the SATA data cable, the SATA power cord. So that's set up. All right, so next step. Okay, so the next step for this with the actual installation, the physical installation is gonna be put the panels back on your PC. Okay, so I do have these three little clasps here. So I'm gonna to wanna to line them up, put them in. Once those are in, I can then screw this panel back right on, just like that. Nice and easy. Okay, switch it around. Now it's back to the front. I am gonna clean that out after the video. Be very careful with the glass. Okay, that's in. Poly picked. Okay, both panels back on, and then you wanna plug everything back in. So if you did unplug all of your externals, like your monitor, keyboard, mouse, plug all that in first, then your power cable, and then you can switch the on button on. All right, now let's head over to the actual PC and I'll show you how to set it up in your actual PC. That way you can use it. All right, let's go. Okay, so for your last steps, you're gonna go to the, your little search bar uh, to search your PC. You're gonna type in disk management. All right, so this little, com this little icon comes up, uh, create and format hard disk partitions. So open this up. Okay, so it's gonna show you Pretty much all of your disks here. I have another um, USB plugged in, that's why this is coming up, but you probably will only see disk zero and disk two if you don't have a USB plugged in as well. So as you can see here, I have a 1,863 1, gigabytes unallocated. All right, so I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna right click it, and I'm gonna click new simple volume. Okay, a setup wizard comes up here. I'm gonna click next. Um, your simple volume size in MB. So just make sure that this is the maximum. Obviously you bought this thing because you want to use the entire thing. You didn't buy it because you want to use half. So make sure you have the whole thing set. Click next. Um, you can assign a letter to it if you want. I'm just going to make mine. Well, I can't do C for Colsef. Okay, I'll just do A. Um, and that's fine. So next. Format this volume. Um, you could just do uh, perform a quick format. That's fine here. If you want to make it a label, you can do that. If you want to say games, if you want to say uh, videos, so whatever you want. I'm going to make mine uh, videos. Next, uh, you selected the following settings. So this is just kind of a summary screen, and that looks fine. And click finish. So this is going to say formatting here. Um, so just let this go for a little bit. There you go. So three seconds now it took. 
Now it says healthy, basic data partition, so that's done. Your um, file explorer comes up, and now if you scroll down to this PC, you should have this right here available. So now I have 1.81 terabytes free. So here we go, now you can drag anything over you that you want. I will say one tip um, for, for you gamers out there that are buying a hard drive to game with, you really want to leave your main game on your SSD drive. Your SSD drive is going to have the least amount of latency, and right now I'm talking about fractions of a millisecond here. It's going to have the least amount of latency if it's on your SSD drive because it's not pulling it um, as far and your SSD has better uh, processing unit in it. Um, your HD drive can be for, for like a campaign game or you know for GTA, something that's not going to be so competitive. Or, you know, all of your videos and everything. If you want to move everything to your hard drive and then just have your one or two games on your SSD, that's probably the best idea for you. So, good luck, everyone. I hope this video um, finds you well. I hope this works for you. If you need any help, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, go to the uh, description. I'm going to have a link to the SATA cable box that you can buy with all the cables that you're going to need. All right, everyone. Have a good one.